guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyelle Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So before anybody says anything, because I know somebody probably notices, I know one of you guys are gonna notice that I'm still sitting next to my Christmas tree. I had such a busy December that I feel like I didn't even get a chance to really enjoy my Christmas tree. So you guys, even though it's after Christmas, you guys are gonna see my Christmas tree probably until next month. <laughs> I already told my son that I was not taking down my Christmas tree probably until Valentine's Day. So I was even thinking about putting some Valentine's Day decorations on my Christmas tree. But anyways, I just wanted to say that because I know someone's gonna say, when are you taking down your Christmas tree? So this past weekend, I had the opportunity to decorate for one of my clients. She was having a baby shower, and guess what the theme was? It was a teddy bear themed baby shower. That theme is still going strong in 2023. I have already had a number of clients reach out to me to decorate their event, their baby shower, with that same theme, okay? So I just wanna give you guys that heads up that you will still see <laughs> teddy bear baby showers. I guess that theme is not going anywhere, all right? So I was able to record the setup for you. Let's get into that and then make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video because I do have some lessons learned for you, all right? So let's get started.
the baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? There was so much that I had to create for this event. So I did the centerpieces. Um, I also provided the tablecloths and the chair covers and the chair sashes. My client's mother um, actually, you know, set the table. So they're the ones who did the napkins and the plates and, and that stuff that was on the table. Um, and then I also did that big balloon backdrop with those different types of um, accents, right? So there was definitely a lot to do for this baby shower. If you guys have any questions on how I created something, you know, please let me know in the comments. I can take some time because February looks like it's gonna be a slower month. I can take some time to create some tutorials for you guys, all right? So just let me know if there's anything that you need more details on. Now, let's get into the lessons learned because I have a couple of them. I have two of them for you. And then for all of my community members, so my Q&A members, I have some special lessons learned for you guys. So for everybody who is watching this video on my YouTube channel, just know that I have a Q&A community where you guys can ask questions. We have live sessions. You know, everybody is on there pretty much sharing information and cheering everyone on, right? So I'm gonna put the link in the description if you wanna join that. We have our next live session coming up on Wednesday of this week, okay? so. Be sure to check that out if you're interested. Now, for the lessons learned, the first lesson learned that I have for you is that remember when I went over my emergency kit with, with you guys and I told you all of the supplies that I put in there? If you guys have not watched that video, I'm gonna put the link in the description for that so you can check that out. But pretty much I have a supply kit that I take to every event that has all of the emergency supplies that I may need. I realized with this event that I need to add a screwdriver into my emergency kit and maybe some other tools just to have in there. So for this event, for the dessert table, I purchased some dessert stands and, you know, I just left it to the day of the event to put them together. And when my son was taking everything out, because, you know, I gave that to him to do, when he was taking out all the pieces, he was like, Ma, I need a screwdriver because there's, there's uh, screws in here. So now I know that I need to add a screwdriver and some other little tools to my supply kit just in case I need them. So I wanted to share that with you. The second lesson learned with this event, oh my gosh, guys, that hot air balloon gave me such a hard time. So I created that hot air balloon. I blew up all those five inch balloons, you know, when I created it. And then what ended up happening was the next day, some of the balloons came off, right? So I was just so nervous that the bigger balloon was going to pop, right? I did not want that big, you know, balloon to pop. So I was just, I was just like really nervous. Like, you know, I'm like carrying <laughs> the hot air balloon. I wouldn't even let my son carry it because I'm just like, you know, you have to be very, you have to be very careful with this. You know, I'm trying to make sure all the little five inch balloons don't come off. It, it was it was a headache. Like it, it gave me a hard time. And I had to end up telling my client like, hey, get your pictures early. <laughs> get your pictures early just in case, you know, the smaller balloons start coming off. I told her, I said, this hot air balloon definitely gave me a hard time, even though she said it looked beautiful, right? She loved it. Um, but that's a lesson for you guys that I'm really going to get into on my next video is to how to create a hot air balloon the day before the event and it still lasts and look good on the day of the event. So those are my lessons for you. If you guys have any questions on any of the materials that I use, please make sure you check the description of this video. I'll be sure to put all of the links in there. All right. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.